We're out here at the eBay 20th anniversary event. We got Project Blitz hosting, supplying all the sneakers, and they put on a crazy display, something that we have never seen before. So I'm gonna hand it over to Dre. We're gonna follow along with him. He's gonna explain every single thing about this, all 31 sneakers and how it made the what the dunk and how it all happened today. This is kind of a cool moment because there has been a lot of people that put together every component and piece of the what the dunk you know, all the shoes side by side. But what people didn't even really know was that you can't do it without the eBay dunk. That completes the whole set. It's the liner, that green liner on the left shoe that completes the entire set. And so without it, no one ever put it on display until today. And this is what we have here. So, you know, the What The Dunk was made of 31 different dunk colorways. Every panel, every single different piece was a part of a different colorway of the SB collection. So let's just get into all the sneakers that made up the entire What The Dunk. You know, first we have the Daniel Shimizu Dunk High. The second one was T19s. T19 was a Japanese skate shop, I believe. And uh, so that's their colorway that they produced. This is the Takashi Low, the original black and gold. Obviously, this is the well-known Supreme Dunk High in orange. That was like my favorite color of all of them. If you liked any other ones, you're tripping. <laughs> orange was the best. Um, moving along, this is the Shanghai Two. Uh, there was also the Shanghai One. We'll get that one later. But this one's called the Shanghai Two. That's just kind of like a. Uh, a Chinese motif to it. The Oompa Loompa. Nobody liked these a long time ago. They were literally, you know, 70 bucks, 60 bucks on sale. Sometimes even 50. Um, you couldn't even sell them. Like nobody wanted that color. Now yeah, today, down. now today they're about, I don't know, a thousand bucks, more or less, Jeez. right? Shout out to Travis, because, uh, you know, Trav wearing those things blew them up. So, the next shoe on the top shelf is the Buck Dunk. So people was wondering like, what is Buck? What is Buck? So that's actually the colors of Oregon and Phil Knight, one of the founders. And so his nickname was Buck. So that's why they made that colorway. Starting back on this side, one of the most iconic dunks that ever came out that literally brought so many different demographics and people into the sneaker world. It was already building up, but this one brought people from all different walks of life, people that like Jordans, people that like just didn't even like shoes yet. They jumped in because of this. Shout out to Nikki Diamonds, Diamond Supply Co. This is the original Diamond Dunk Low that was called the Tiffany because of the color and literally one of the dopest shoes that they you know, they had HTM, uh, Air Force Ones came out with Croc. They used that same Croc embossed uh, leather and black with the, you know, the silver representing the silver, like the Tiffany color. Incredible. This is literally one of the sickest dunks I ever came out. Next, also one of my favorite, literally one of my favorite dunks that ever was made because we all love Heineken beer, the Heineken dunk. So one of the coolest colors, looking at a six pack, of Heineken, it's easy to see that, you know, the red star, the green, white, and red. Literally one of the, the freshest, like, coolest colors. My favorite color is green, too, so, oh, man. I mean, don't you love this one? That, bro, yeah. Heineken? Yes. Heineken's sure. are crazy. That's all I was saying earlier. Like, out of everything here, those might be, like, my top, one of my top threes out of all yeah. these shoes right here. No, this is definitely, this yeah. is definitely my like, top three. Like, I feel like three. it's got to be in my top three. It's definitely my top three. Two or three. I don't know which one. Yeah. We'll get to my number yeah, one. Yeah, we'll later. talk about that in a bit. The Cali Dunk. Literally, this is a dope uh, concept. So if you look at the California flag, it's white with a little green uh, pasture, a red bar, and a brown bear in the middle. So they literally took that flag and created this colorway out of it. One of the one of the coolest like concepts to pull off something and put it on a sneaker. The unlucky dunk. I love guy. these cool concept there's a lucky and there's a unlucky this is the unlucky with I guess the unlucky number 13 right right, right. is 13 unlucky to you no you know that there's some buildings that don't have a 13th floor a lot that's a lot crazy right it's like technically they do though 
It's weird, That's right? Yeah. <laughs> so, a cool colorway, pretty amazing. Next, we have, it's arguably either, they have called the Avenger, but now it's actually really called the Banker. So it's because it's like a, you know, pinstripe, pinstripe suit. So that's what that whole thing was about. There was a black version, there's a blue version, uh, the black and purple, and this is the uh, navy and blue. Here's a great concept too. This is yeah. like the hunter dunk, yeah. right? So basically you like duck hunting and you're out in the marsh. You have the safety orange with, uh, you know, that tree camo. And the cool thing about these is, and I had like literally a couple hundred of them in the beginning and I was trying to find the best 10 and a half with the coolest camo. Yeah. So no single pair is alike. They're all different. That's dope. That's the cool thing about I used to have these back in the day and they weren't my size. I ended up selling them and yeah. I'm like still looking for a 13. Well, I think we had them before, but you missed out. Yeah, price tag too different. <laughs> <laughs> Medicom. So obviously everybody loves, you know, the Medicom bare bricks and things like that. The 400%, the 100%, the 1000%, the big ones. This is the first Medicom dunk that they ever made. And uh, it's a cool colorway. Really amazing leather. Looks like a NYX colorway kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Pull out of shoes. We're halfway through and the number 15 is a very, very important shoe. This is very important. Let's talk about this one. Yo, this is my favorite, favorite shoe of all time. Obviously, I grew up loving Jordans and stuff, but this became my favorite shoe. It also changed the whole sneaker world, turned it upside down, and it made me actually leave school. You know, I had to drop out of university. Yeah. I made a choice, and I went into the business on this side of things. So, sometimes you have to make those kind of decisions in life. But it was this monumental moment with these. If I failed with this, I would be, I would leave. If I made it, I know my route. So how many pairs of these did you get when you when they first came out? I first had 33 pairs. 33 of these. pairs of them. And there was people that were at a party in Paris, and they were tying up the laces and throwing them, throwing them on the on the like on the wire, throwing them on the the power lines. Yeah. In Paris, coming out, they were throwing away the boxes. Imagine that. That's crazy. Some people didn't even keep them, didn't even wear them. They were just, whatever, pompous, like, oh, I don't care about these, or whatever. <laughs> Boom, throwing them, tossing them around. The shoe went up in value. For the first time, a, a new release shoe was going for like seven, 850 bucks, like right out the gate. Mm -hmm. There was nothing ever that, that did that up to that point. Okay. Not the Supreme Dunk, not anything. Nothing that, that one yet. in particular. This one. And I went and I got like every every pair that, that was you know coming out after. Like so anything that hit eBay. And it was just a, a botched up plan I had that I had to do something else and I did these I like these cr crazy photography with them. So I lined them up in all these different directions and put those things on Nike Talk. Way back. So Let's I threw go. all those pics on Nike Talk. Hey, where's all my Nike, my, my Nike Talk and Soul Collection Shout people out to Nike that, Talk. in the uh, comment section? Triple OG right Let's here. Let's go. Man. 22 years ago. That's crazy. crazy. Good times. So at that point, all these sh all the pairs dunks are completely different too. No one, no pair has the same so you took the best placement one. ever. I definitely picked the best one and I wore it. I know, I, the, I was just looking at like the photo on the side right here. Yeah. It's just so like, With all the blue placed. and pink and everything. Yeah, it just looks amazing. So the artist is Bernard Buffet. So if you look up Art History, who's a Parisian artist, really incredible, just, you know, it's very Picasso-ish, but very on uh, his own right. Beautiful shoe, the most amazing thing I've ever seen. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God. And I had to go all in. Right. I was ready. To, I sold. I would sell all my, my everything I had to do this. Yeah. And this changed the world. Like changed the whole sneaker world. So, Crazy. literally, they were gonna do the uh, the Paris, New York, Tokyo, and London mm -hmm. white dunk exhibition. Mm -hmm. And that's where this uh, came from. Paris came out first. And after we did this, the next ones were coming out. And. Of course, the pigeon then came. Right. So after I started making these going, I, I changed the market with this, and they started to go for 1500 Everyone went nuts, so when the pigeon was coming out, 
it was like a huge riot. Yeah. Because it's gonna be the first time that people in in like New York had a chance can go to get something exclusive. Pay 150. Yeah. And get 1500 back. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. So you imagine you had everybody come out from everywhere, the hood, uptown, like Park Ave. You yeah. had like everybody yeah. they didn't even know what the hell was coming out but they knew right. it's like getting a lottery ticket yep. like winning a quick lottery yep. and that's what made change the whole sneaker world right. from that moment on after that it was like kind of pandemonium everything just started going up and up and up and up and all these people were coming into the whole scene it was kind of a crazy time it's still so, crazy these days it's still crazy wow but it all kind of started on with that, that point with that man all right let's see what we got on the next shoe right here sorry for the long uh, no no long that one deserved all the time trust me of course uh here we are with the the ray guns so the the actual uh story about the ray gun was that it was like a nike basketball thing um it was part of a campaign the roswell ray guns like a team from roswell mm -hmm. where the ufo landing was so they made a little alien it was a crazy dope sick collaboration um, and then taking something from like Nike basketball and putting it onto Nike SB. This is the Metacom 3. All 3M silver, like 3M was so big, like everybody loved 3M, you know, back in the, those like early 2000s. I mean, it's still dope now, right? It started with the Jordan 5 tongue mm -hmm. and it just moved on everywhere. And so Metacom followed up the other releases with this one, incredible, love it. I love silver. Just came out amazing. And then you got the What the Dunk branding right here, sitting perfect with the exactly. great shot. This display case is you know, amazing, like by the, the way. Fuck in terms yeah. of What the Dunk. Yeah, yeah. This display case is amazing. All right, yeah. here we go. We got some more shoes down here. 31. What number is this right here? Number 18. So this is the Shanghai one. So this is the first one that came out out of Shanghai. It was like this Chinese print on a burgundy, gold, gray. One of the sickest, cool colorways. Not many people know that that's not a white toe box. It's actually a very light gray. Sick. It was one of the coolest like colorway and, and um, you know having that gold swoosh on. Yeah, it. the materials are amazing on it. They did a really good job on that shoe. So we saw the unlucky before. Ooh. Now this is the lucky. I miss these. So if you yeah, I right? miss these. So if you love gold, if you love wheat, and you love green like I do, this is like the ultimate yes. ultimate shoe. Yeah, I love these. All right, so if you skate or if you're just into like street, if you don't know what Carhartt is, stop watching immediately. <laughs> Carhartt is like literally one of the the sickest brands that everybody knows about, and it's it's either black or it's this brown, like duck brown that Carhartt is known for. It's like that, just that thick, good, nice, you know, canvas that they use. Incredible. The hemp dunk. So they made three colors. This was like a 420 release. It was just ma is made to look like it was uh, hemp, and they did this cascade blue color. They did a burgundy color, and they did the bonsai green color, which was only limited to 420 pairs. And here we go, another one of the the greatest dunks ever made. This was the big riot in New York. Everybody wanted to punch a lottery ticket. If they were lucky enough to get in the store, they'd be able to, because there's only 150 pairs. Jeez. If they're lucky to get in, they're gonna get a shoe for 150 bucks that they can sell for, or 100 bucks, whatever it was, that they can sell for 1500 out the gate. Right, we were crazy back and then. And then they ended up going to like 2000. So. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that back in the day. This one right here, I love this shoe. Simple, so, clean, got a nice story, yeah. I love it. Shout out to Supreme. So this is like in the third series of SBs that came out. You literally had uh, Supreme came out and put cement print that was only found on the Jordan 3s prior to these and put them on the dunk. And this is number 23 on the list right here too. Even That's more fitting. 23, right? Even more fitting. So they had a black one that had red accent and then they did this one which was kind of like a true blue color mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the tweed dunk high 
One of the coolest ones, they did a low, they did a high, but they did it with this nice like Harris tweed looking material. So if you ever had a pea coat or want to look dapper, yeah. one day, these are the ones that you bust with them. You know Dressing what I mean? up the SVs. Yeah, I, I know like you, you come out like that, right? You know what I'm saying? Pull up on them, you <laughs> gotta stay fresh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, last roll. What we got down last here? Roll. Honestly, this is one of the coolest colors ever and the dopest material. Like that, these materials you will not find on a sneaker anymore these days. That suede, you can smell it. Yeah. It smells so good even after being, you know, almost 20 years old. That sea crystal, teal, aqua color, two tone with the black, fire. Fire. You know, that color was super hot with just like the Tiffany Dunk and all that. Well, talk about it real quick. I know we haven't talked about everything. We can't go through everything, but look at the tongue. There's no SB branding on that one. Yeah, no. Talk SB. about that from the age and the time and everything. Well, like if that. you notice that, most not of these, all of them have that, right? Yeah, most of these don't have the SB on it anymore. Uh, I mean, from most the, of them yeah. from the beginning do not have the SB uh, the SB logo on the Nike. It was just Nike on it. Yep. See, like going moving right it's along. It's a more newer era. Even though this is still old, but yeah. it's a little bit newer of an era from exactly. this era. And that's when they started adding the Nike as SB on the top. All right, so talk about this one. So this is obviously the follow-up to the De La Soul Low. This is the De La Soul High. De La Soul Low has just had that album cover um, print. It's a cool like, little plasticky that kind of yep. changes. Yep. Um, but this is like a cool color with green cement. I thought these were so crazy Man, and fire when they came out. I love out. these. I love they were, these. Like they literally look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can that's see when that. I first I can seen see them. That. That's, what I, that's what I thought of. I like that. I like that. All right, what we got right here? So this is the second Metacom. This is Metacom 2. Before the 3M one, we got yes. this one right and here. And this is also a follow-up to like the Reese Forbes uh, denim dunk low. But this one is like in a, you know, the black colorway. So it's just flipped denim on the other side in black. It looks like this black and gray effect. Crazy. Sick shoe. Crazy. So all three of the first three Metacom dunks are, are in, inside of the What's yes. the Dunk. Which is, which is dope. I feel yeah. like they're all deserving for sure. Now let's talk about the one. Oh, you got these on your feet today, actually. So I got these on my feet. You were wearing, you were wearing these yesterday. Yep. But you were wearing these today. Let's Okay, okay. Shout out to Keith Huffnagel, rest in peace. Um, you know, founder of Huff. And obviously one of the coolest dunks with the coolest like material ever made. Did this, you know, Giants colorway for San Francisco in a tie-dye, fitting tie-dye, right? Yeah. Because of all the, the hippie uh, scene out there on yeah. Hate Street with this cracked um, leather. Literally one of the coolest shoes. They look, they look, they they look, look so good. Yeah. Toss awesome. them I love it too because like the age of the shoe, you can still wear it to this still day. Yeah. The materials are amazing. nice, like amazing, amazing stuff. All right, we got three more shoes left. This one, we'll we'll talk about a little bit and then go over there to the other side because yeah. there's a little bit more details with that final yeah. shoe. All right, what we got right here? So this is a cool dunk. Everyone calls the Bison, right? It's Bison Sport Red and it's like this two-tone brown with gum sole, brown midsole. And it has this red going around the front. It's like a, such an amazing color. I love yeah. this. Be like brown, these are hard. This is giving right? that nostalgia, right? So Looking at the tongue, no SB logo on there. Like old school. So the cool thing is that this was a Japanese designer and he had a dog named Homa. And this is actually his dog. That's so it was at a brown like lab or something like uh -huh. that. And this is like, I thought was his tongue, but I got corrected. It's actually the dog's collar was red. Dope, dope. Such an amazing piece. Yeah, right? great story behind the shoe. All right, what we got right here? Another legendary shoe right here. Bro, the next one, this one's fire. This is like literally another one of my, this is definitely top five for me. Hey, bro, top five for real, ever. for real. For me. Because no one was putting neon on, on shoes other than like Air Max's yet you know what i mean so this dunk right here the jedi has the colors of like yoda luke it's really yoda though right so with that you know that green and the the two-tone brown and the gum sole and then just the neon hits everywhere with the neon laces crazy, crazy. i mean crazy. it's so crazy i'm knocking my, my tag <laughs> Beautiful, I love these so much. Like, if you do not have these, this is like completes a collection because it's like, you, all, all these shoes these days, there's neon everywhere. At that time, never had neon. So the final piece, the one that, if you had all these other shoes, 
you didn't have this one. And now these are coming out this year. We're at the event. It's all adding up. It's aligning. So Talk the key it. is the liner of the eBay dunk to make this whole thing complete. Okay. And uh, so everyone's probably wondering, like, why is it all these like clear parts? Let's so, take them over there. Let's take them over there and tell them about that. Let's go show let's them. Go, let's, let's go, go do that. Let's, let's go do that. see let's go the real one. Here. Let's go over here real quick. Oh yeah, they got the list of all the shoes right here. We'll get into that in a bit. But let's let's finish it off with the eBay joint. Oh, it's nice and quiet over here. They can actually hear you even better. I like it. All right, guys. So what you want to look at right now is the original. This is Sandy Bodecker's original eBay dunk. This, this is, is it. it. This is the shoe. This is the, the, the OG shoe. one. OG. The only one other pair was auctioned off and it, and it went off for $30,000. And this is the only other one that was property of Nike. Uh, basically of Nike. Yep. And that was at the Bodecker Foundation. We need that liner to complete that entire set for the What the Dunk. That color was only found on this shoe. Damn. So what they did with the other sample that was out there, so that way the winner of that auction would have the only pair in circulation, is they cut it up with a saw. Which they have this right here, which we'll talk about in a second, or you want to get into it now? So that's what they did. They cut up. This is the current auction pair right now. Yes, and they cut up this pair. Just like that. Just like that. So they cut up they cut up this pair and this is like what it would have been the original one right mm -hmm. and so they made the new pair to look like they're putting it back together and those are going to be releasing this week and those are going to be releasing or you can get one of these 10 on box auction sets on auction this is number one of 10 this is the actual one that's on the auction right now on ebay the second one's right below us right here they're incredible Crazy. we're literally in the presence of Crazy auction items right here. These are, what's the current live, what's the auction on these right now? Is 16, 17,000 right now? I last check, I thought it was like 15,000, but yeah. if it's 16, it's going right up now, a little bit. It's crazy. It started, it was about 10 yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's been slowly going up. Well, I hope it doesn't go up any further because then I'm out of the count. But <laughs> I definitely hope that I can, you know, get one of these and keep it in the Project Blitz vault. That would be crazy. If so, we'll come back and do a whole another thing with that. But so now these ones are going to be coming out to the public. This is going to be coming out to the public. Now you got to ask is, do you, what do you like better? This crazy cool design? You could actually wear like different color socks or crazy things with it? Yeah. Or do you like this old school version? If they like retro this and came out with this? I think, I think it's good that they did this one justice and doing this to separate the two. So that way people couldn't just be walking around with the same shoe. Yeah. Uh, I think people would prefer this but i like that and there's differences like look at the yellow like it's a lot darker it's a little bit more mm -hmm. goldish kind of to it it's a lot more brighter it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting i think you guys might be able to see the difference oh, you know, oh yeah you can that tell it's definitely 20 years old too, you see what so. i'm saying so but it looks like it's been in great condition like the white patent leather is not yellowing or anything it looked really really good mm -hmm. but yeah i think i think it's good how they did it this way Putting the concept and the story behind the shoe. Shout out to eBay. Yes. For putting this all together. Definitely. And definitely if you're ever, you know, if you're looking for sneakers, that was the OG place where we all met, made community, bought sneakers from each other. Only on eBay. That's what's up. So this is one of the eBay's goats, legends, or whatever you want to call it. This is the guy. And now he's got his own thing called Blitz. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check them out. Check out projectblitz.com. That's like the elite level of, you know, all things sneaker and in demand. So definitely peruse check it out look at pictures and hit that button add to cart all right y'all i'll see you in another one appreciate Peace, you brother. thanks for having us all right bro we out yo before you go i just launched my sneakerhead academy where we got everything on the inside i teach you all the stuff that i learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers scaling real estate you name it we talk about all of it in there and there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways i give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for dj sneakerhead academy and i'll see you guys over there